Well, hello, Scrappers. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, judging by the kinds of emails I've been getting and the comments I've been getting on some of my videos, there is a whole lot of confusion out there about denoxing solutions. Um, people don't seem to understand the need to denox. They don't seem to understand how to denox. And it's just crazy some of the stuff I'm seeing in my inbox and in the comments of my videos. So I thought we'd do a little video on denoxing solutions, okay? And I've got two solutions in the, uh, in the fume hood here. They're both just aqua regia. There's no gold dissolved in either one. Believe it or not, that's the color aqua regia turns. When you make it, even when you haven't dissolved any gold in it. So there's no gold in either of these solutions. It's just muriatic acid and uh, nitric acid. And I've warmed them up so there's a little bit of uh, boiling going on. The, the nitric acid's boiling off a little bit. So we'll talk about the, the need for denox. Okay, say you've dissolved some gold in aqua regia. Say, well, let's pretend that these solutions have gold in them, even though they don't. So we'll pretend I've dissolved, I don't know, two or three grams of gold in these solutions, and I want to get the gold back. Okay, so I want to drop the gold out of the solution. I want to make it precipitate. I can't just start spooning SMB in there because there's a lot of excess nitric acid in both of these solutions. And what will happen is, um, there will be a really violent reaction when you put the SMB in, first off. But you might see some gold trying to precipitate. You might see a little bit of a brown cloud form, but it immediately disappears. You might not even see that. Uh, because the excess nitric acid in the solution uh, will make the gold immediately go back into solution as it tries to precipitate out, if it can even precipitate out at all. So, denoxing or removing NOx, or nitrous oxide compounds, which are basically what nitric acid is in solution. So denoxing is getting rid of the excess nitric acid and nitric oxide compounds so that your gold can actually be precipitated out of solution. If you don't do that, you will be very frustrated, as many of the people in the comments I'm seeing are frustrated. They'll dissolve stuff in aqua regia, then they can't get anything back out of it because they haven't denoxed or they haven't denoxed properly. And there's at least four ways of denoxing your solutions that I know of, and there may be others that I'm just not aware of or can't think of at the moment. And uh, I use two ways from time to time, and they're both over here. So I. I and a lot of other people, I mean a lot of people in the world use urea, okay? And I have used it from time to time. It works. There are some problems with using urea. Um, first off, it doesn't remove the nitrate ion from the solution. It just sort of binds it up. And at, high P, at really low pH, you can have problems with the nitrate coming back into solution. So that's one problem with the urea. Another problem with urea is that when it binds with nitric acid, it creates urea nitrate, which is a high explosive. So you may not want to be creating a lot of urea nitrate because you could actually like blow yourself up, okay? Uh, urea nitrate is also a fairly insoluble compound. When your liquid cools down, you'll see this, this white cottage cheesy stuff precipitating, that's the urea nitrate. It's very annoying. It's also very dangerous. So I try not to use urea except in a few special situations where basically nothing else is working. And I'll throw some urea in and see if that helps. Usually I will denox using sulfamic acid. And this is another source of confusion. People hear sulfamic acid and they think sulfuric acid. And I've got a couple of people, more than a couple of people, who think, okay, I put a little bit of sulfuric acid in my liquid and it didn't denox it. Well, no, of course not. Sulfuric acid does not denox um, your liquids. But sulfamic acid, S-U-L-F-A-M-I-C, sulfamic acid is what you want. Okay, let's try and clear up that confusion. It's a... Um, it's used for lots of things, but mainly what you'll probably find it used for is a, as a uh, grout cleaner for tile. And, you know, I can buy this at, uh, at Home Depot. They sell it there. It's fairly cheap. 
and this actually destroys the nitrate ion. This will um, react with so a nitric acid in solution and convert it to sulfuric acid. And I think that's where some of the confusion comes in. People think, oh, it's the conversion to sulfuric acid that's causing the denoxing. Right, it does, because it destroys the, the nitric acid on the way to making it into sulfuric acid. But you can't just add sulfuric acid and get the same effect, no. You have to use sulfamic acid. So that's two ways to denox. The third way is just, you know, don't use more nitric acid than you need. That's, that's the way number one. Like if I was dissolving gold in here, I would start out with just muriatic acid and put the gold in here, and then I would use a, a pipette and just drop her in nitric acid until the gold was dissolved. You know, I wouldn't put in, you know, the, the usual um, recipe for uh, aqua regia is, is three quarters muriatic acid and one quarter nitric acid. That's too much nitric acid. That's too much nitric acid. You're always going to have a lot left over. If you just put it in a drop or two at a time or a milliliter or two at a time, and wait for the reaction to die down. If there's still more metal in there, put a little bit more in and just keep that up until the metal's all gone, then don't put any more in. You're not gonna have a horribly overdox solution. So that's that's one way to, to denox a solution is to avoid having to denox it. And then there's the old way, which um, has been in practice from time immemorial, is to just boil your solutions down to a thick syrup and boil off the nitric acid. I mean, the nitric acid has a fairly low boiling point. I think it's like 87C or something like that. I could be wrong, I haven't looked it up, but I know it's less than water, less than the boiling point of water. But if you boil your solutions down and get rid of the nitric acid, so you know, if you have a, a solution of aqua regia that has some gold dissolved in it and you want to denox it, you can just boil it down to a thick syrup add some more hydrochloric acid to it to rehydrate it and then boil it down again. You do that two or three times and then all the nitric acid is going to be gone and you're denoxed. So, I mean, that's a very time consuming, um, energy intensive way of doing it, but that's the way people have done it forever. So, so those are the four ways to denox that I know of, you know, urea, sulfamic acid, don't overnox to begin with or boil it down. Now there may be other ways I am not aware of. So in a lot of my videos you'll see me denoxing with sulfamic acid. All right. And the way I like to do it is to mix up a saturated solution of sulfamic acid in a beaker and pour some in. And the reason I like to do that is because this has happened to me on numerous occasions, especially when I first started using sulfamic acid. If you just take a spoonful of the powdered sulfamic acid and dump it in here, you've got to have a very violent reaction, especially if your liquids are hot. This is just going to foam up and boil over all over the place. Because the way sulfamic acid works is it attacks the nitric acid in there and converts it to um, nitrous oxide, which is a gas that wants to come out of solution, okay? And that gas is going to come out of solution very violently. So if you mix up a saturated solution, because sulfamic acid is really not that, that um, soluble in water, you mix up a saturated solution of it, you pour in a very dilute solution of sulfamic acid, and the reaction is not nearly so violent as long as you don't pour it in too fast. So here, I'll pour some uh, sulfamic acid into this one, and we'll see what happens. Look at the foaming. Wow, look at the bubbling. You see that? But look at the color change. Look at the color change. It's destroying the nitric acid. Yeah, look at that. That works. That works a charm. That really does. That really denoxes the solution as well. Now, there's a bonus with using sulfamic acid, okay? And this, I think, is a, is a bone of contention or confusion for a lot of people. Sulfamic acid, like I say, it attacks the nitric acid and it creates uh, nitrogen dioxide gas, which bubbles out of solution violently. 
but it also one of the other byproducts is sulfuric acid it converts the nitric acid also into sulfuric acid so now we've got a weak solution of sulfuric acid in here well so that's a bonus because a lot of times you need to add sulfuric acid to your aqua regia in order to precipitate out compounds you don't want like uh, you would put a little bit of sulfuric acid in here to ensure you precipitate out any lead um, it'll help silver precipitate out it'll help other compounds precipitate out that have insoluble sulfate compounds that, that make insoluble sulfate salts so you would add a little bit of sulfuric acid here for that not to denox it but to get rid of unwanted metals okay so you get a bonus with sulfamic acid because not only have we destroyed the nitrate in there but we've created a little bit of sulfuric acid which would help precipitate out any lead or silver or anything else that we didn't want in our liquid and then we can filter it and get those nasty things out and then drop some nice clean pure gold out of it and it'll drop easy because there's no nitrate left in there okay so let me move the beakers around and we'll look at the other way of denoxing so the other way a lot of people use is the urea method and like I said it works but there's some issues with it so let me get in here and we'll put some urea in this a big healthy spoonful of urea prills here going in okay Ooh, look at that yeah we got another uh, another nice bubbly reaction but uh, unlike with the uh, with the sulfamic acid what we're doing here is we're just creating a compound that's binding the nitric acid up and you see the color change you know it's it's not bright orange anymore in fact let me put a little more in see if we can get a little more complete color change yeah and some more bubbling yeah look at that it's gone pale so like I said we're binding up the nitric acid we're not getting rid of it it's still in there and it can still come back if you uh, drop the pH on this solution um, low enough the nitric acid can come back into solution so you know it's still there I mean this works for a lot of people I mean if you watch YouTube videos people from all over around the world are denoxing their solutions with urea so it does work but you know you just have to be careful about a couple of things there's still nitric acid in there hidden it's hiding from you and if you screw around with the pH too much it can come back to bite you and cool this stuff down now you're gonna get a white precipitate of urea nitrate which is a high explosive you're probably not going to make enough of it in anyone you know denoxing to really be dangerous although who knows you know how much high explosive does it take to uh, blow glassware into shards and you know pepper you with it probably not very much but you know it could build up in places you know you start pouring this stuff in your stock pot or your waste buckets you know a, a good thick layer of that stuff can accumulate and okay there could be a large explosion if you're not careful and uh, you know it could hurt or kill you or other people you know ruin your house whatever get you in trouble with the authorities they'll think you're a terrorist so uh, yeah so I don't use urea generally except as a last resort sometimes you know we're talking about denoxing here sometimes you've got a solution that just doesn't want to denox you can't get the gold to drop no matter what you do you know I'll put in more sulfamic acid I'll, I'll dilution dilution helps <clears throat> talk about um, getting the gold back out of solution um, if the pH is really low on your solution still a lot of times the gold doesn't want to come out of solution so just simply diluting it with pH 7 water you know will bring the pH up enough that you can drop the gold better uh, but also um, you know if nothing else works yeah I'll reach for the urea I'll put a little bit of urea in because urea not only will dissolve the uh, the nitric acid but it'll also drop you know it'll also raise the pH of the solution because this is somewhat basic 
So it will raise the pH of the solution quite a bit. So that makes urea actually doubly good for denoxing and dropping gold because not only does it destroy the nitric acid, but it, it raises the pH, which helps. Still, you've got the other issues with urea, but it works. So anyway, I hope this helps clear up some of the confusion I'm seeing around denoxing. It's getting ugly out there in the comments and the emails I'm getting. And I got people wanting me to help them out because they've got this lime green Kool-Aid solution that they've dissolved all this gold stuff in and they can't get any gold back out of it. But they've denoxed it with sulfuric acid. I don't know how many times. That's not going to work, folks. Sulfuric acid doesn't denox. You need sulfamic acid. You need urea. You need to boil it down. You need to not overnox it in the first place. Something like that. Okay, so I hope this helped clear up the confusion. So if this did help a little bit, you know, I'm probably preaching to the choir with a lot of people out there, but there's a lot of newbies watching my videos. So uh, if this did help, give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, or subscribe to see future videos, press that little bell icon that YouTube makes you press, be notified when new videos come out. And thanks for watching. Have a good one. Happy denoxing. Bye.